Hey there, can you help me? Depends on who's asking. Oh, me? My name's Stella. It's nice to meet you. What are you doing out here? I'm looking for help, silly. There's a bunch of ragers around the corner, so I'm staying here. What seems to be the problem? It's my friend Murphy. He went to the Phantom store, but it's been a while, and I'm starting to worry. Can you check on him for me? You should look for your parents. Where are they holed up? In Quincy. That's where my mommy died. I don't know about my dad. My mom said I would get to meet him someday. Does that little scam actually work on anyone? What's a scam? Okay, I'll try to help. Really? Thank you. It's the big yellow building down the street. Can you bring Murphy back safely for me, please? How are you doing? Everybody, got some news. Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. What's going on? Sounds of explosions. Did you hear the news? We're, uh, trying to get confirmation. Wh what's happening? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. Oh, that is bad news. We, we do, we do have, we do have coming in. That's, um... Oh, oh no. Confirmed reports, oh, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York. Oh, my God, it's happening. Pennsylvania. Oh, God. My God. Oh, God. This is it. Our soldiers are right. It's finally happening. War. War never changes. Oh, no one can. This is just a drill. Right? Evacuate. This can't really be happening. How? Evacuate. Why did you do it? Oh, shit. I don't know. Get out of here. locked. It's your business to know what you're putting in your child's bloated belly. That's why sugar bombs are engineered to please both your child and not damage his or her tender, tender brain. Mmm, they taste so amazing! And they'll make you remember everything you read. Quick, a Of course, mother! Sugar bombs. Uh, want some more? Weaving the taste and performance together in a potent breakfast cocktail. Out of my way. Day to day breakthrough in your child's life. I can see the future! Sugar bombs may last up to 12 hours. After that, it's anyone's guess. Buy two boxes and get a third half free until supplies last. Yes. 
Cereal has seldom been so crispy. So fresh it hits your stomach. Blasting your brain with 5,000 nice. taste bulbs of volcanic delight. Sugar bombs are built from the ground up. Sweet. You don't know Lights out, pal. I'm glad that's over with. We'll all be better off without you around. Sweet. Nice. And I'll just take this. Mine now. But relatively, what is value? At Fallon's, each price represents our pact with the customer to bring things down to a manageable level of value. It also takes luxury to account. Mass production techniques may have brought things up to speed, but it's time well, on the floor. Shivered at the adventures of the single man. We wondered at where Mr. Wallace's science would take progress ah, tomorrow. That's now, let's next week, just the new over. series begins. Chronicle of Unmanned Journey way. into the Mind of Communist. I shrunk myself down with the atomic relay and managed to pass through space Is that the on a molecular can, yeah. level. Time to die. Deep under the earth, I have built my fort. Whatever. An impregnable fortress that cannot be used by normal means. I call my the pleasure. University. Ah! Bring it! You're not leaving here. I have a piece. Back. I am the brain space of my servants that allows them to pass through, as it were, to the worlds. On their brains? Yes, yes, on their brains. My pleasure. Learn so much about what it means to be calm sweet. An astounding revelation of man's cruelty has begun. The brain of Dr. Darius Destardo. My pleasure. Make this quick. Well, looks like we have a hero here. My pleasure. You're not leaving here in one piece. I guess we're not going to settle this with words. My pleasure. Asshole. Sweet. Suits me fine. Hell yeah. Bingo. Gotta be somewhere. Excellent. Yes. And I'll just take this.
Bingo. Gotta find the terminal. show. Maybe you're not useless after all. Our new friend surely has some questions. Perhaps we should introduce ourselves. Name's Murphy. Head upstairs to the top floor. I've got a proposition for you. And don't worry. We'll play nice this time. Excuse me. Gotta admit, I'm impressed. Stella here tells me this was all her little ruse. No hard feelings, huh? Is this how you treat everyone? Or are you just putting on the charm for me? And a sense of humor, too. I like it. Sorry for any misunderstanding. We're a shoot-first-ask-questions-later kind of place. Never can be too careful with looters breaking and entering these days. Don't misunderstand. We're not criticizing you. Those were fair kills. You didn't know who we were, and we didn't know you from a random looter. Thankfully, Stella fessed up. Hey, I was just trying to have a little fun. How was I supposed to know they weren't a common criminal? Yeah. We're all friends now. Let's skip to the part where you help me. That's rather presumptuous. After taking out two of our crew, I wasn't under the impression we owed you anything. Well, that all depends. What kind of help are you looking for? Hold on, I have some questions first. Alright, humor me. What do you want to know? So what do you do here? After what you've seen, you really need me to spell it out? We're slave traders, not gonna sugarcoat it. We deal in raiders, mostly. Capturing them, and once their spirit is broken, selling them to slave owners up and down the eastern seaboard. A few miscreants we let work for us, if they show promise, but the main goal is to ship these degenerates outside the Commonwealth. So, what's your story? Tell me about yourself. I'm originally from Detroit. Used to make pickup trucks there at the Ford plant before the war. The thing about being a ghoul is, eventually you feel like you've seen it all. Detroit was never much to look at, even before the war. A century after the bombs fell, I started itching for a change of scenery. Heard rumors about the Corvega plant in Lexington. Decided to make my way east to Boston to check it out. What happened after that? When I arrived in Lexington, the rumors I'd heard about the auto plant turned out to be phony. So I started looking for something else. Joined up with a group called the Minutemen. That was a few months before the Battle of Diamond City. Mostly been doing that ever since. Until it all went to shit. What do you mean? What happened to you guys? You're not from around here, are you? How about we do the abridged version for now? The short of it is, everyone I served with in the Minutemen is either dead or turned raider. What can you tell me about the child? Uh, Stella hasn't had it easy. Her dad was never in the picture, and her mom raised her at University Point most of her life. Until the Institute torched the place. I met Stella and her mom Judy after they fled to Quincy in 2285. Helped them build a life for themselves there. And then the Quincy Massacre happened. What was the Quincy Massacre? Uh, we can get into that some other time. Let's just say that life's greatest dangers often come not from external enemies, 
but from our supposed friends who pretend to work for the common cause while scheming to sabotage it. When the Minutemen betrayed Quincy, most of the residents ended up slaughtered by the gunners, duty included. I managed to get Stella out, and we made our way north to Concord. And that traitor Preston followed us here. I'm telling you, he was working with Clint the whole time. And now he's right down the street, and you still won't do anything about it. We've been over this, Stella. Innocent until proven guilty. You want me to focus on keeping this place safe from the gunners? Or waste time dealing with the loudmouth fool in the silly hat? Both. I want justice for what they did to my mom. And like I explained, you'll get it. If you have patience. Garvey will get what's coming to him eventually. But for now... Wait, hold up. You hear that? Who's there? Let's rock! Excuse me. Yes, one. This is kill the stop. Wrong place, wrong time, pal. Is that the best you can do? It ain't good for the heart. Up yours. Get him. What say you and me go another round? We have a hero here. Let's just get the best. Let's go. This is chaos. Let's hurry this up. Is that the best you can do? Out of my way. You don't want to run into me.
Hi. <clears throat> I was afraid those guys might show up. Thanks for your help. You all right? That was interesting. It's complicated. What do you know about the Gunners? Gunners are human scum that don't deserve to live. Geez, how do you really feel? No one's really sure where the Gunners started out. But something changed about eight or nine years ago. Out of nowhere, they started sporting plasma weapons, advanced combat gear, and even vertebrates. Doesn't make any sense. Where did they get all that stuff from? That's a good question. I guess I don't know. People bitch about the Institute, but look at what's really been going on. Quincy, GNN, Mass Bay Medical, Mass Fusion, Two Vaults, and all the major freeways. It's the Gunners, not the Institute, who've been gaining the most ground in the Commonwealth. How much of a threat are they? No one invests the resources to capture those strategic locations without a larger agenda. Someone's behind it. We're just not sure who or what. At this point, there's not much to keep the Gunners from taking Good Neighbor, Diamond City, or the towns up north. Is there a reason that you're bringing this up? You mean besides the fact that we just got ambushed here and conquered? There needs to be a group to stand up to these assholes. Someone strong, organized, and local. And I'm not talking about the Minutemen. I mean someone with real stones. So what did you have in mind? I'm gonna need some more in the way of details. Ultimately, you gotta ask yourself who you want protecting things. A bunch of Muppets who can't defend what's theirs, or hardened killers who can handle themselves. I hadn't thought of it that way. Uncertainty is sometimes better than an overt threat. If you build a reputation for being a little crazy, your opponents are never sure what messing with you will cost. So, they tend to avoid finding out. Settlers can't instill that kind of fear. Whether it's against raiders, synths, mercs, super mutants, or even mole rats. They've proven time and again that they're incapable of deterring threats to their property over the long term. The Minutemen worked for a while, but they ended up self-destructing. What happened to the Minutemen? Depends who you ask. The challenge with running a militia is that volunteers inevitably have their own agendas. For a coalition to last, there needs to be a change. But still fear you enough to follow your lead. Maintaining morale requires convincing soldiers to think less about themselves and more about the group. Involved- mm -hmm. Of course, it's easier said. Somewhere along the way, we lost that sense of common purpose. Infighting took over, and the militia gradually splintered into different groups. Some became raiders. Quincy was the final blow. Jesus, what a mouthful. What's the plan again? Whether it's the Gunners, the Institute, or who knows what other groups are out. So we've got to use our we- uh -huh. If your enemy is big, you're hidden. Mm -hmm. So we break our forces into independence, fighting only the battles we- uh -huh. And using those two. That way the- Makes sense, I suppose. What's our next move? The Gunners are calculated and caught. It's gonna take them a while. To... The critical elements- Striking first, before the Gunners have time to assess and formulate a response, may throw them off balance. Their nearest outpost is up on the freeway, southeast of Walden Pond. The freeway wasn't- I want you to head over there, take out their remaining guards, and steal their weapons, so we can fortify them. Prove to me you can- And if you want bonus points, there's rumor of a raider stash over by Corvega. We'll mark the location on your map. <laughs>